Number 27. How far from a 1 microcoulomb point charge will the potential be 100 volts? All right. So here we have a point charge. It's 1 microcoulomb. In other words, it's 1 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. And they want to know at what distance, a.k.a. the radius. Check out number 25. I went through this in detail. Um, will the potential be 100 volts? So we have our formula, right? That the voltage produced by a point charge is going to be equal to the electrostatic constant multiplied by the charge of that point charge divided by the distance between the charge and the point at which we're measuring or found or know the voltage. So now if you want to find the distance, meaning R, simply just do a cross multiplication or just do a little switcheroo. Right, look at that little switcheroo. And now all I need to do is solve it. So 9 times 10 to the 9th times that Coulomb charge of 1 times 10 to the minus 6th, which is just 10 to the minus 6, right? Divided by then 100. And what do we get? So we're going to get 9. Probably don't need the calculator for this, but um, I'm half asleep, so I'm going to use it. 90. Cool. So this is about 90 meters, okay? Sig figs, I'm way too tired for that. So 90 meters. All right. And I'm sure... <laughs> You're probably like on the other, yeah, Andrew, I've been tired of that for the past year. I agree. Uh, wh at what distance will it be 2 times 10 to the 2 volts? Okay, so all that's going to happen now is the instead of this, we're going to change this to 2 times 10 to the 2. All right, in other words, 200. So what do you think is going to happen if the denominator doubles, right? What happens to then the... A radius that's going to have, right? So then the radius should be 45. And you can check that with the calculator. I guess that I'm not too tired to do. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for tuning in, okay? I appreciate it tremendously. Thank you so very much. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.